Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I'm finishing off my Glambot series with my third package. It is a big one. It is a heavy one. There are a lot more palettes and different uh, products in this one, a lot more variety. Um, so we're going to see what I ultimately think about Glambot as a company and whether I think that you should trust them with your hard-earned coin. Now, if you haven't seen part one and part two of this series, my first unboxing and my second one, please go and check those out as well. You can do that after this video if you like, but um, it kind of is a bit of a spoiler. Um, the first unboxing I thought was very decent. The second one had a few sort of ups and downs and things that I thought were a little bit of a ripoff and a little bit too expensive for what I actually got. Um, so we're going to see what happens with this third unboxing. So apparently I ordered 21 items. Uh, they have an approximate value of $9.50 US each and it comes to a total of $199.50 US. S. So yeah, we're going to see what is in here. I already know a few of these that I have ordered. I try and not think too much about what I actually ordered um, until it comes here because then I kind of get a surprise all over again. And I'm like, oh yeah, there are some things in here that I know I am getting and I'm really excited about it. Um, so we're going to have to just wait and see. I'm literally opening this in front of you guys. This package has not been opened. I'm literally opening it right now in front of you. Um, unfortunately with my second video, I had to refilm that. I just wasn't happy with the way it turned out. So it wasn't as much of a true first impression as I would have liked it to be. But hopefully this video, um, I've got my camera right and everything's looking right for this, um, unboxing yes so i'm just going to dig in i'm not going to look i'm just going to literally dig in and it's probably one a couple of my favorite products right off the bat so we've got two mac products i know what these are already so i'm really excited the first one is the mac alia lipstick in try again i don't even have to look at the bottom i already know so there we go there it is it's got about 50 percent left on that one by the looks of it and let's have a look how much did I pay for that one I paid I do not know it is not telling me oh there we go ten dollars us so that's kind of, it's okay for the price it's okay and because it's a Leah I'm okay with it so ten dollars is okay and then the next one which was quite a good price as well this is the Mac um, it's a face powder. It's the opalescent face powder in Happily, Happy Go Dazzlingly. And this was a part of the Snow Globe collection. I think it was called Snow Globe. And as you can see, there is some visible wear in the middle of the product. Um, but it looks really, really good for the wear on it. And this one, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, Impalpable Glare Powder. And I paid $19.50 US for that, which is pretty good. Um, considering the lightness of the use of the product and the fact that it is quite an old limited edition product and people often look for this specific powder, I was actually quite surprised that it was still on the website when I got it. And I was also surprised with the Aaliyah lipstick. I was actually watching another one the other day on the Glenbot website and it literally went within 24 hours. So I was kind of disappointed about that because I would have loved another one in my collection. Okay, so it looks to me like we've got most of my Sephora lip products in here and also a Too Faced lip product. How exciting is this? So we're going to start with the Too Faced lip product. And this one is the Bronzed and Kin... No, the Melted Matte Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in Gingerbread Man. Now, I actually do believe that I have this already. I think I ordered this accidentally. Oh, no, I did not. So this is Gingerbread Girl, which is the one I got last time. And this is Gingerbread Man. So there's definitely a subtle difference. And also the packaging is a little different as well. So I think I ordered one of the regular lipsticks twice in this formula. So I'll let you know about that. But that one was $11 US, which is very, very reasonable for that. And it looks to be a full product as well. Next one is the Sephora Times Museum of Ice Cream Sephora Collection. Very cute. Um, it is called the Let Them Eat Cake uh, Popsicle, Lip Color Creamsicle Popsicle. I love this design. 
I had to get it. I thought this, the design was gorgeous. The doe foot's really nice, actually. Looks like it doesn't pick up too much product. Very, very, very cute. And we don't get a lot of the Sephora collection type stuff here. So I'm really, really excited to try that out. We don't get a lot of the Moschino stuff or anything like that. This one is the Sephora and Pantone Universe uh, one. This one is lip gloss in Sulit Allium. And this one is was $7. And the creamsicle was $6 US. So very reasonable prices. I know that the Sephora range is a little bit less expensive anyway. Um, but very, very nice. The Modern Watercolors Lip Gloss. That's what it's called. And I thought it was just such a different color. I just had to get it. I thought it was very cute. And then the last thing is the Sephora Ultimate Oil in Gel Lipstick Remover. It's a 15 mil. As you can see, it has been used a couple of times for sure. And this one is $6 US. So also very reasonable. I don't believe we have this one in Australia either. So yeah, we, we kind of luck out with a lot of the Sephora collection stuff, unfortunately. But what can you do? Okay, so this these have been wrapped in... Um, sort of like butcher's paper. I call it the fish and chip shop paper, but it is butcher's paper. So I don't know what is in this. If they feel like long, pardon me, long cylindrical type things. So, okay, here we go. We've got a few different ones here. Okay, here we go. So this is the one that I have a duplicate for. This is the Too Faced um, Bronze and Kiss Lipstick in Gingerbread Man. I paid $10.50 for this one. All the information will be down in the description box as well. There we go. So I do actually have this one already in my collection. It was an accidental order. Um, I thought this one was the Gingerbread Girl one as well, that I was going to get a different um, lipstick that I was going to complete my collection. Um, but unfortunately, I did get a duplicate. I, I think I am going to hold on to this. I was going to consider putting it in a giveaway, but I think I will hold on to this just because it is a limited edition product. Um, and you can't get it anymore. And if I do run out of the other one, yeah, I would be kind of screwed. <laughs> so this is a lip conditioner from Mac as well. And it is the, a bathing ape collection or BAP collection. Um, and it uses the, uh, traditional camouflage pattern. So it is just like a lip gloss type thing. So it has been used a little bit. You can tell, um, the packaging is not completely new you can see the marks on it as well but i did get this one let's have a look i got this one for nine dollars fifty so that's not too bad either i think i bought all of these when they were having their 50 percent minimum sale which was really really good um now just another side note as well with the subtotal it originally was 249 dollars and 50 cents and the coupon was 49 Got rid of $49.90 um, for a grand total of $199.60 US. And the, the coupon I always use is 20 new. I didn't actually use it on my first order. I used it on my second order and my third order, um, which is this one here. Um, so all you need to do is make sure that you have never used this code before with the email that you select um, and put in 20 new for the code and you will get 20% off everything, including clearance and sale items. So yeah, you can always just use a friend's email or something if you want, um, the 20% off consistently. I actually used um, my husband's email for this one, um, because I think, I don't know why it didn't work with my Gmail. They must've been connected, my Yahoo and my Gmail. Um, so it wouldn't let me use the 20 new code, um, with my other email. So I used my hubby's email <laughs> anyway. Sorry for the distraction. And my nose is very itchy, so I do apologize for rubbing it. This one is the Sephora Craig and Carl Color Lip Last in Bold Glory. Now, let's have a look at this. Oh, here we go. So, yeah, it is a regular lipstick. Really nice slimline packaging. I could definitely sneak this in my wallet. Love the colors, the pop art style. It looks like it's never been used, or if it has, it has only had a little bit cut off it. Um, very nice. Made in Switzerland. It is part of the Sephora collection as well. Really nice. I think Sephora collection is definitely underrated as a product, as a brand as well. Now I did get a couple of items from Stila. I've got the Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. Uh, this one is in Fiore. 
so this is a good sign when things come packed like this. The Craig, the Craig and Carl lip color was $6.50 US, by the way. Lovely color. I love the, the sort of shine to it. Uh, and this one was $12 US. So that's very, very decent for a brand new product in the packaging. And it looks brand new. Doesn't look like it's split or anything bad. So that's good. And then the other one that I got was the Steeler Beauty Bo Boss Lip Gloss. And this is in Bonus Baby. And they do actually have this in stock on the website. Still does not look like it's been used. It looks like it's been out of the packaging though. And this one is $7.50 US. Very, very nice price for that. Very good. So it is a little bit of a different style of colour. As you can sort of tell by my lip choices, I am trying to go for different colours other than just nudes and pinks and stuff like that. Um, I did buy a pink lipstick and all that. But, yeah, they do have, um, yeah, like I said, they do have another one of those bonus baby ones in stock if you are interested. All right. Now, this looks like one of my favourite uh one of my favourite ones here, and this is all my sort of smaller palettes that I ordered. Oh, this is very, very exciting. It's very exciting. Okay, so I'm going to start with the first two that I have. So this is a YSL palette. It is called the Parisian Night Palette with four wet and dry eyeshadows. And the packaging is just gorgeous. It's got the love hearts. The mirror only goes up to a certain point so it doesn't fall over, which is fantastic. And those are the colors. So this is my first YSL purchase. And this one was $30 US, which is very, very decent considering the price of YSL and how quickly um, those products sell out. Obviously it doesn't have the little applicators at the bottom, but I'm not bothered. The colours look like they've been used maybe a handful of times. Very, very reasonable price. The packaging feels sturdy. It feels heavy. It's got this nice little gap around here as well, which kind of protects from um, it being dropped. The top design is beautiful. It, it's very, it speaks class. You know what I mean? It just looks like class. It feels like class. I love it. This is another one that I was really, really excited for. And another product, another brand that I've never actually purchased from. It is the Benefit uh, brand and it is the World of Blushes. Uh, it has got Dandelion, which is a 3.5 gram product. It has Rocketeur, which is a 2.5 gram product. It has California, which is a 2.5 gram product. And it has Hula, which is the 4 gram product. Now, California, I believe, is the blush. A Rocketeur, no, Dandelion's the blush. Rocketeur is like a shiny blush. I think California is also a blush and Hula is a bronzer, I believe. We'll find out in a minute. Oh, no, the Rocketeur is also a blush. So, yeah, it is called World of Blushes for a reason. So this is a much older style packaging from um, Benefit and it is definitely one of their earlier um, mixture palettes. So it does have the three blushes and then the bronzer. I think it's a fantastic range of bronzers. I do not have shades like this in my collection. Um, and I think this is going to be fantastic to travel with. Look at that. I'm really, really, I'm really pumped about this because, yeah, I don't own anything from Benefit. I've been wanting one of their palettes like this for a long, long time, um, but I've never taken the jump. And I'm actually really happy to have this one because the, the size of them is a little bit smaller as well. Um, and as you all know, blushes take forever to get through anyway. So I'm quite pleased um, by that. And that one was actually really, really um, reasonable. It was $24.50 US, which is very, very reasonable considering their palettes go for ridiculous prices. Um, I've seen them advertised as high as $100 Australian um, for their multi palettes. So I'm really excited. Oh, I'm having a bit of trouble getting. There we go. So. Another product that I was actually really surprised to see on the website and I'm very glad to have a duplicate of is the MAC Aaliyah eyeshadow palette in Age Ain't Nothing. And this was described as a second chance palette, so it may have a shade missing. Okay, so it has a couple of shades missing in this one. They've been cleaned out. So this often happens when the palette has... Um, sort of only a few bits and pieces left of a shade. So they're two of the lighter shades, I believe. 
I'm just going to grab my Macalia, my original one. Let me just grab it. Okay, so if you look at my Macalia palette right here, and then you look at the new one that I just purchased, the difference is definitely the fact that they've got the gold and the uh, silver missing, which doesn't really bother me because actually my two favorite shades in the palette, well, my three, uh, the purple one at the top, the sort of the neutral shade in the middle, and the pinky shade at the bottom. So I'm actually quite pleased with that, that the ones that I, the shades that I really like are left in there. And it looks like the other shades have not even been touched. It looks like this might have been damaged um, on the way to the store, or it may have been um, a, what do you call it, a manufacturing error? I'm not sure, but I'm very happy to have a spare backup. And even if it doesn't have all the colors in it, um, I'm very happy with that. And the second chance palettes almost always are 50% off. And yeah, basically they have, they can have one to three shades missing. At the time I purchased this palette, it did say um, it would have one shade missing. So I'm a little bit upset that it is the two shades, but they did clarify on the website later um, when I was searching that it is one to three shades. Um, so this one, I probably overpaid a little bit on it. Um, to be honest, considering that I paid $20 US for this, considering I got the YSL for 30 and the, the Hula one for $24.50. I think I've definitely overpaid a little bit on this, um, but the other shades are untouched. So it's still a decent deal. And also I love a Mac, Macalia collection and all that stuff. And if you guys ever see any Macalia stuff, please buy it and let me know because I will pay you for it. Um, I'll pay shipping. I don't care. I love the Macalia collection and all that stuff. I will pay for it. Um, and this one is the Z palette. Um, and this is the Sephora version, which once again, we do not get in Sephora Australia. Um, it was a limited edition product with Sephora and Z palette. So it is a magnetic palette um, where you can put your um, products and this one was, it was $7 US, which is very, very reasonable for Z palette. And I like that it is sort of like that limited edition um, Z palette. And I do actually have a video planned and an idea planned uh, with Z palettes very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. All right. We've, we've still got some stuff to go. I've got, oh, I've got a couple more palettes to go and I think I'm done, which is pretty Pretty good. I think most of these are Z palettes anyway. So I'm going to tell you all about that. Yeah, these are all Z palettes as well. So I'm not going to go on too much about it. Okay. So I did get, so that was the small size palette. I did also get a black Z palette. Um, this is small black Z palette for $7 US as well. Um, it does have a sort of like rigid, ridgy texture it's got like sort of different ridges on it i don't know if you guys can see that texture um but yeah very very nice one as well very very good and then another small one i think this is the last small one i got which was the pink one and this was also seven dollars very nice all right and i got a medium size e palette and this actually comes in the box which is amazing um, and this one is in the color phantom and it is a limited edition product that they are no longer selling which is pretty awesome oh it's still in the package wow awesome so it does say on the on the back of it it says the medium z palette comes with one 16 piece pack of metal stickers eight round and eight square it comes with a care card and an information card so i have actually ordered some metal stickers um from uh, beautylish so i wasn't sure if they came with stickers i'm actually very very impressed that this actually came with stickers that's really exciting um and this one was 14 dollars us and i think the higher price was because it is still in the box and unused um, which I wasn't, I wasn't aware of that at the time. It's kind of hard to tell when it is a Z palette. So that's quite good. And then I've got two more things and these are actually my favorite things in the whole, well, they're probably some of my favorite things in this whole unboxing. 
I'm going to leave the best thing to last. Oh, I can see it already. I'm, I'll leave the best thing to last. I'll, I'll show you the last Z palette first. <laughs> um, come on. And this was the one that I was actually going to buy off Beautylish originally. Um, but I saw, I saw that Glambot had it. And it is the Large Lavender Palette. And this one was only $10 US. What a bargain, right? Look how big that is. I mean, it's got some scratches on it and stuff, obviously being used. But, I mean, who cares? Who cares? It's going to get scratched and dented when I use it anyway. So, who cares? It looks loved. It looks happy. <laughs> it looks appreciated. So, that's a good sign. And then the last thing, I'm really, really excited for this one. Um, I'm going to preface it a little bit. Um, one of my dear friends on YouTube, well, we don't really talk, but she is someone that I would see as a friendly person on YouTube and someone who is definitely a positive influence on the beauty community. Her name is Maria. She has a channel called Agape Love Girl, also an Instagram of the same name. And I'm going to leave her link down below as well. But she does amazing, amazing reviews. She does not get enough love. She has over 7,000 subscribers on YouTube. She has a lot more on Instagram, I believe. Um, she does PR and marketing for um, MBA Cosmetics, which is a small indie brand as well. She she is a very lovely person. She is very involved with her church and Christianity. Um, I'm not a believer myself, but I always admire people who are very active in their community and are just very nice, generous people. And she's also someone who, she's got three kids, I think. It's either two or three. I think it's three. And she manages to film for YouTube, film for Instagram, work for an independent company as well. So, and she went on a weight loss journey as well and a whole journey with her body and herself. And, you know, doing the whole mummy makeover, you know, the lift, um, the lift make the breast lift the tummy tuck all of that sort of stuff and she's the most strongest lovely person that i know and she recently did a i promise i'm getting to the point she recently did a review on the urban decay wired palette which is a new version of this palette um you may know what i'm talking about now um and she said it wasn't as good it was still good quality for urban decay but it wasn't as good as this original palette and this one has been gone for a while but i managed to get a hold of it it is the Urban Decay Electric Palette. So she highly recommended this. She talked about it a lot. Oh. oh, man. It has barely been touched as well. Like, ah! So it is a pressed pigment palette, just to let you guys know. So some of them are not safe for eye use, but that's a warning they have to put on there for the FDA. Um, it says slow burn, savage, jilted and urban are not safe for eye use around the eye. But <sighs> just look at that. Honestly, have you ever seen anything as beautiful as that in your life? Like, come on. I'm in shock. It's beautiful. Worth it. Worth it 100%. And the price I paid for this one... $24.50, so the same price as the Benefit Blush palette. Man, this is gorgeous. I, I'm in shock. I'm in shock. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Very happy to have that in my collection. And it is a good size. It's not too small, not too big. It's just perfect. I'm really excited about that. Um, there we go. I've probably gone on way too much about things that are not relevant, but... Final thoughts, Glambot. I think Glambot is a great place to buy from in general. There have been some products and the prices that I have been disappointed with. So my top tip to avoid being disappointed is make sure that you buy when the sales are on. Make sure you check the price and make sure that the price is what you want to pay. Another tip I would like to tell you is make sure you put it in your local currency because US dollars are less than Australian dollars. So when I see a palette for $24.50, I think $24.50 Australian. 
it's not $24.50 Australian. It's more like $35 US. So, I mean, $35 Australian, sorry. So if you are from a foreign country, even if you're from Canada, put it as your local currency. They do have that option on the website. It's at the very bottom uh, to select your currency in your region. Um, and be sure to do that so you make sure that you are getting the correct price. They do not adjust prices um, depending on currency. They do not adjust them up or down is what I'm saying. They adjust them as exactly they should be for the currency rate, right? So that is my number one tip. Well, my two top tips, buy on sale, make sure you put it in the correct currency as well so you know exactly what you're going to be paying for these products. Now, a lot of these products, another tip, my third main tip is you have to be in the right place at the right time. My biggest tip is to put everything that you want in your cart. Doesn't matter if you buy it on that day or not. Usually the Glambot carts stay up for, I've had my, I've had my Glambot carts stay up for weeks. So if you don't mind taking the risk of just piling things into a cart and waiting, um, I would do that. And oftentimes I have missed out on a few things here and there if I've waited too long or I haven't had the funds ready. So definitely make sure you have your funds ready. Check the website daily for sales. Go on there every day at the same time. The sales, if they do do sales, they often last 24 hours or two days, three days. Sometimes they do a weekly sale. Um, so the sales are varied and you never know exactly what the sale is going to be. Sometimes they'll do sections on sale, like they'll do all the palettes for 50% off or all lips 30% off, um, all brushes 50% off. Um, these select items are 80% off and they'll have a sale section just for those items. So you definitely have to pick your time and your moment to purchase. And sometimes you may have to let some things go to buy other things because that's just the way it goes. So I, I think if you are in the US, you definitely have a little bit of an advantage in that way because obviously the um, price of shipping is less or the amount of products that you need to buy for shipping to be free is a lot less. Um, whereas I, in Australia, I have to buy a certain amount to get free international shipping. Otherwise, it's just not worth it for me. Every order that I've done, all three orders, I've definitely made sure I ordered enough to get free shipping. So just keep that in mind as well. Um, and the fact that they offer free international shipping is amazing as well. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much everything that I can tell you about Glambot and the tips and tricks that I've learned. And it kind of does get frustrating sometimes when you do have certain things in your cart and you're like, gee, I really, really want that. And then you just miss a sale or the sale has started before you were able to get online and someone's already snagged it. Um, for example, Many Urban Decay palettes, older palettes that I've been looking at, they were gone very quickly. Popular palettes, um, they went really quickly, as they often do. Game of Thrones type ones go quick. Um, so, yeah, if you know that your product is popular, you may have to pay close to full price to get it, especially if it's a limited edition product and it's something that a lot of people are after. You may just have to bite the bullet and pay close to retail for it um, but the thing is that Glambot do not charge over retail for their products I have seen some products that were quite expensive and I go I'm sure that's over retail but they may be independently valued um, a lot of the products that are really expensive are really old limited edition products so that could be what it is as well um, but yeah that is I'm just trying to think it's that there's pretty much everything that I can tell you about Glambot and my experience with Glambot. Um, pay attention to, yes, one more thing, pay attention to the fill rate of the product. Um, so the fill rate will tell you the condition of the product. They have 50%, um, 80% and 100%. 100% means it has never been used. It has not been touched. It may not come without the packaging, but it has not been used. And oftentimes they will label it as unused. 80% um, is generally what you're going to get on most of the sites. Usually that means they've cut the top of a lipstick off. It means that um, to sanitize it, so it might have been used a couple of times. Uh, oftentimes they'll have eyeshadows that have been used maybe a handful of times um, or have been used 
or some shades have been used more than others. Some shades will be untouched, whereas others have been used quite a bit. 50% um, fill, try and avoid buying those ones because they're the ones where I've really gotten into trouble and definitely overpaid, um, especially with lipsticks, the 50% fill ones, I've definitely overpaid for them. Um, I had one in my first unboxing um, called Shanghai Spice, I believe, and from MAC, and I definitely overpaid for that. And then I had one that was like in the Starring You collection, which was from Christmas last year in 2019, that I definitely overpaid for as well. Um, so it is a bit of a gamble. Sometimes you don't know exactly what you're going to get until it turns up at your door and you unbox it. I mean, the electric palette surprised me. It is like they say that's 80% fill, but that's barely been touched. This one has been touched the most. Um, you know, you've got the Z palette, which was 100% fill, but it also comes with all the original box and all the stuff inside it. Um, the Stay All Day lipstick, liquid lipstick comes with a box. Um, so they never specify if things come with boxes either. So it's just, it's a guessing game. Some of it is a guessing game. And sometimes you are going to guess correct and other times you're not. So it kind of evens itself out. I find that I would say probably 80% of the products I've purchased from Glenbot, I'm happy with the price and the quality of the product and the description of the product. It's just like anything when you buy online, especially eBay, if you do Amazon, Macari, that sort of thing you got to realize that these products are secondhand products. So they are going to have scratches. They are not going to be as perfect as people say they are. Some people do blatantly lie and that's obviously wrong. And you obviously are entitled to get your money back. But none of these products have been to a point where I thought I need to get my money back because I'm not happy with the quality of the product. I'm not happy with the sanitary level of the product. You can tell these products have been wiped thoroughly and cleansed thoroughly. Um, before being sold um, and that definitely gives me a lot of peace of mind and buying from someone like Glambot gives me the peace of mind knowing that the products are not fake either which is so important um, Glambot takes the hassle out of determining whether products are fake or whether old limited edition products are fake they have their own people in-house that actually test this stuff and no makeup um, and know what is fake and what isn't so you don't have to go through the trouble of checking serial numbers checking if the seller is um, credible so it definitely takes out that middleman and that guesswork in that respect so overall i love glambot i think it is a great place to buy makeup and yeah that's pretty much all i can say i've said that three times now but that's pretty much my opinion of glambot and the service and the product they products they provide um yeah that's it so yeah uh thank you for watching thank you for enjoying this probably very long video that's probably going to be around 30 minutes um but yeah i hope this was helpful i hope that this sort of helped you with your decision on whether or not to buy with glambot or whether you feel like it's worth it for you i know a lot of people don't like limited edition products and obviously glambot is more sort of geared towards the reduce reuse recycle and the limited edition product side of things so it's just up to you it's your personal preference it's what you feel is going to fit with you um, and your needs as a makeup consumer yeah uh, but yeah, until next time, take care. I hope to see you on the next video and hopefully I'll be using some of these gorgeous products and showing you a look very soon. So thanks again and take care. Bye for now.